Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Now I know if you watched my live stream uh, this past week, uh, pa this past Friday, I said, you know, I wasn't actually thinking about doing Ground Zeroes, I wasn't even thinking about picking it up, simply because I wasn't really all that interested in the fact that it was really short kind of put me off. But what happened between then and now, <laughs> me actually owning the game, is I, uh, I got, I, I saw that on my Power Up Rewards profile, the, the GameStop Power, whatever, you know, whatever it's called, the, the Rewards Program, I had $10. So I was like, hey, you know, that would put the game down to, uh, what, $19.99? Because originally it was $29.99, uh, US. I was like, hey, that's not that bad. And then my credit card had a deal where I was like, I could spend some of my credit card, you know, award reward points as well. And I got a $20 gift card, so I was like, fuck yeah, man, I can get this game for like 30 cents. So that is what I did. And as well, I also pre-ordered um, Infamous Second Son. So good, uh, good batch of PS4 games coming up in the horizon, or on the horizon. And uh, as I said before... Uh, in my last stream. If you're interested, I will be streaming Infamous Second Son this coming Friday over on GameAnyone.com. So come on over and check it out if you are interested. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this. Let's uh, see if this newest uh, Kojima game is any good. So far I've heard mixed reviews, but, you know, let's see. You know, and interestingly enough, this... <laughs> don't shame me for this, but besides playing, like, 20 minutes of Snake Eater. This is going to be my first Metal Gear game. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, fuck. Downloads. Um, <laughs> well, I hope that's nothing important. If it is important, and I have to download it, or, in, and in, or install it, uh, we'll just skip, or I'll just cut ahead to where we actually uh, have it installed already. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> nice to see that logo, man. Fox Engine. Now, this engine is fucking beautiful. This is an amazing looking... Wow, Southern there. This is an amazing looking engine. I'm very, very impressed with it, what they've been able to do with this. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at the preview window on my right over here, and it looks a little washed out. But I don't know. That might just be that monitor. I think it is just that monitor, so... Sorry! English! So now... I don't know all of the Metal Gear characters. I'm, uh... Must update... Wow... Okay, I'll be back in a minute once I update this. Oh, wait, wait! I'm not gonna use the network features yet. Maybe I'll do that later. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um... Yeah, no. Fuck that. I'll do that later. What I know right now is that I believe this guy right here, his name's Big Boss, I believe. I'm not, I'm not, like, like I said, I don't know Metal Gear at all. So don't chastise me or don't crucify me for not knowing. I think that's who that is. I th isn't it the same guy that was in Snake Eater, I believe? No? Yes? I don't know. I, I'm not, <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh, backstory. Ooh, let's hear some backstory. Oh, okay, I see. So this is just a text-based background. Uh, for us, there is no victory. That was said by Snake. There lived a man who was a legend among mercenaries. A man who put together a formidable unit of soldiers of fortune long before the advent of private military companies that dared to call itself a nation. A man who, with his nation at his back, made an enemy of modern capitalist society and the world. And this is his story. Holy fuck. Um, okay, so I'm thinking right now, Big Boss, like I said, okay, so he was originally called Snake, Snake Eater in the, in the third game, which I believe is still first chronologically, um, but he is called Big Boss later on, it says. So he, in 74... See, this would be the kind of thing, like, I would, if I was playing this on my own, I would read this whole thing. Simply because I don't know anything about any of these characters. And it is very nice to actually learn a little something about them. 
So I'm guessing that this game is about Snake. I'm thinking so. I don't know. I wish I knew the characters more. <laughs> I know, uh... Raiden? Is that his name? The blonde-haired guy. I don't know what his name is. I don't... I shouldn't act like I know what I'm talking about, because I have no idea. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of this like is going really deep into the backstory, so if you're very interested in this, I'll keep clicking through until we hit the end, but uh, I'm not actually going to read this myself, so if you want, you can actually pause the video and read this, but I'm... Nah. I'm not gonna read it. Okay, I remember Peace Walker. That was a game on the PSP, I believe. I eventually got a PS3 release, I think, uh, an HD remake. Yeah, again, a lot of these characters I don't know. I mean, I'll recognize some, because I've, I've paid attention to the series, you know, over the years of me gaming, but I just... There's never been a series that really caught my eye. And maybe it was because I was too young when, like, Snake Eater came out. I was very young when that game came out. I was probably in third grade or something. I, I, was, a, I was a very young... Maybe, maybe, no. I don't know how old I would have been, but... I, I remember it being released and people getting really hyped about it, but I just never, never got into it. So, made the decision to leave Cuba. Is that what this, uh, this game is about? This prelude? Uh, options. Let me go ahead and check and see if subtitles are turned on or not. Uh, display settings? Subtitles? Awesome. Game settings? I guess I'll just leave everything else at normal. Okay, that looks good. I'm actually looking at it over the other screen. That looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get started. Enough delay. We'll play... Ooh. A couple missions here. It's not that, not that bad. Uh, so we are going to play on hard. Or normal. Hard. Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First Metal Gear game, I don't think I want to start on hard. Uh, yes. Time to see uh, what this engine's capable of. I'm very excited. Now, I recognize Naked Snake. I know there's Liquid Snake, Naked Snake, Big Boss, Snake. I mean, Big Boss and Snake, now I know are the same people. But, like, I just don't... I don't know, man. It's just so confusing. Cool, but very confusing. told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. Years. You earned it. How does it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. You 
Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Ten days ago, we got reports that Paz was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Paz could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Paz's link. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. 
The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission means backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. Thank you. 